When it comes to planting summer squash and zucchini in your garden, I always recommend that beginners plant seeds directly in the garden. Squash and zucchini don't love to be transplanted and they actually grow quite rapidly if the seeds are planted directly into warm soil at least 65 degrees or so and often you'll get the best results doing it that way. But there are some reasons that you might want to get a head start and begin your seeds indoors. And I'll talk to you about why I've started to do that, but I've also learned that there's kind of a trick to making sure that your transplants take off successfully. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I started these seeds indoors, the things that I did to ensure that they would transplant well, and today we're going to put them in the garden. So if squash and zucchini grow really well when planted directly in the garden from seed, then what are the reasons that you might want to get them started indoors early? For me, it's because I know that I deal with the squash bug and the squash vine borer, and the quicker I can get my squash and zucchini established in the early spring, the better chance I have for a really good harvest before those pests start to arrive. So that's really the main reason why I like to get a jump start on planting squash and zucchini indoors and then transplanting them out in the garden right around maybe a week or two after our average last frost date has passed. The biggest mistake that I see gardeners make when they are starting their squash and zucchini seeds indoors is starting way too early. Unlike tomatoes and peppers and some of the other crops that we start inside, these grow really, really fast. So I usually start these about three weeks before I intend to plant them out in the garden because the last thing we want is a squash or zucchini plant that has outgrown its container because that is the biggest problem when it comes to transplanting into to the garden. So start them about three weeks before you plan to plant them out in the garden or around three weeks before your average last frost date. Another thing that I like to do that not everybody chooses to do is I like to start mine in soil blocks. The reason I love this method specifically for squash and zucchini is because I can see when the roots are coming out the blocks and I know when they need to be potted up into a bigger container. When I am planting in a small little cell pack, sometimes it's hard to be able to gauge when those plants need to be potted up. And so by doing this in soil blocks, I'm able to pot them up as soon as I need to and that allows them not to have that transplant shock that sometimes can really set them back. But here is the most important piece of advice that I learned about the proper timing of planting your squash and zucchini in the garden from these transplants. And that is to plant when you see no more than four true leaves on the transplant. Now you're not gonna count these little seed leaves, the cotyledons. I'm talking about the true leaves like this. So we have one, two, three, and four. At this stage, these need to go in the garden. They could go in a little bit earlier, but definitely not past this stage. If they're actually starting to develop a fifth leaf and we really want to get them in now. When we do that, we will be able to get these crops into the garden before the roots have a chance to run out of room and moisture and nutrients and start to circle because that's gonna be bad for them acclimating to their new environment. So let's take a look at these plants and let's see what their roots actually look like. And I'll show you how to transplant them into the garden at this time. I wanna plant them about the same depth as they are in the container. So I'm going to prepare the planting hole here. 
This bed is full of fresh compost. I'm not gonna add any extra nutrition to it. I don't think it needs it, but I do wanna add a little bit of drink of water so that the roots can access that right away. Speaking of which, let's take a look at these roots. I'm gonna be very careful with the stem, like always. Dump it over. Check that out. The roots have not started circling. They have just begun to grow toward the bottom. This is absolutely perfect. This is the way we want our squash transplants to be when we pop them into that space. And at this stage, they're still kind of delicate. So we just want to be kind of gentle with them while they get established. We'll water gently again. All right, let's do the other ones. ladybug on here. These have been in my greenhouse. I had not seen a ladybug yet. What a cool discovery. Just love it when that happens. 